This is my experiment with a barrel water wheel pump. Currently it has <clears throat> about 150 feet of half inch or actually one inch hose and then it has about 200 feet of half inch hose. One loop starts at the far end which is the one inch hose wraps around 26 times then goes to a central hub the other one starts at this side and wraps around about 50 times 52 times somewhere in there and then goes to the central hub which crosses over to a place just below that white pipe where it goes through a hydraulic half inch swivel connector and then comes out a hose goes up the yellow line into what I call a air water separator this separates out the air that is trapped from the water and the air is directed into a 3 inch or 3 8 inch line where in uh, it enables it to lift the water higher. The 5 8 inch hose runs over to a, a barrel, a 5 gallon bucket that's suspended in the tree currently at about 25 feet in the air. <clears throat> When this, when your rise in water goes too high, what happens is water and air comes back out of the hose the wrong direction. You see those four inch cup at the far end and the three inch cup at, at this inch diameter pipe is used to help fill it. The combination of air and water enables, if you want, to run separately one of those up a 3 8 inch line it will raise the, the water level to about 50 feet currently the, with the water flow it's likely running somewhere a little over 3 miles an hour or right at 3 miles an hour and the current torque is about 20 foot pounds <clears throat> I have a 4 inch pipe sewer pipe capped at the front end which can float on the water which creates a harness and then you have a float. This can be anchored off in a wide stream or river whereas I'm in a very narrow stream I have it hooked to a tree. Um, <clears throat> this enables any debris that floats down the river that runs into it tends not to get hung up but the equipment tends to climb over the top of it. It's a 3 8 inch rebar um, framework on a 50 gallon barrel, uh, plastic barrel. The boards that are across are cedar uh, five and a half inch uh, fencing material and it's relatively cheap. They're just tied on with tie wire and string. If something comes along and breaks them, they're relatively cheap to, to uh, replace. Effectively at this rate it is able to lift the water <coughs> around somewhere around 45 feet efficiently at at about three gallons a minute um, which is pretty good considering that the amount of energy that's being utilized at this point is equivalent to a person riding a bicycle at 10 miles an hour on flat ground <clears throat>